My name is Rolly Le Chang. My husband David and I own Redfish Seafood Group. I grew up in China, and in China it was during the Cultural Revolution, and so religion was totally banned. I came here when I was 19 to come to uh, go to university. My father used to work in a ship, so he had seen the whole world, and he didn't want to be in China. The goal was for me to bring them here so that they can retire here. So they, have, they did have a few very good years of retirement, and then my father got sick. He was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer, and watch him suffer was really, really hard. I did question, like, if God is here, why is God not helping him? After my father passed away, I just didn't feel like there was a God. I felt empty and very confused. I was diagnosed with liver cancer and was really surprised. Um, I went through a lot of different treatments and lots of trying. Actually, I was uh, rejected by a few doctors for transplant because they think that I wouldn't make it past six months or something. And I did have like five false calls that didn't go through at the end. It's very scary. One day I have a customer came to me and said, you just leave your problem at the foot of the cross. And I did not understand what she meant. And she said, it's not your battle, you just need to leave it to God. And so at the time I was thinking like, how can I leave it to God? This is my life. During the week of my transplant was pretty desperate time for me. Monday, I went to get a scan. Tuesday, I went back to MD Anderson to look at the result. And it was showing that the cancer had progressed. Then they were going to suggest I would do radiation, but the radiation won't happen for two months. I knew I didn't have two months. On Friday, I just couldn't really get out of bed. I just lay there. And then I said, God, I don't know what to do anymore because I have done everything you told me to do. This is your problem, not mine anymore. So that night, came to work, and that's when I got the call. That was my sixth time getting called, and didn't really know my emotion. I'm excited. I was excited, but at the same time, I was very nervous. But somehow that night, I just had this peace. I cannot explain it. So I got to the, the ICU, you know, the nurse was pushing me through, and then they just swing open the door. And that's when I saw Jesus was holding my left hand. And I can see him very, very clearly. He was right there. I got into the OR and they were getting me ready. I said, God, this is yours. If I wake up, that will be great. If I don't wake up, I'm okay. I woke up to seeing my friends, my husband, and our pastors. I knew that I'm gonna be okay. My donor's name is Kelsey. She was eight years old. So my goal is to live a life that worthy of two. I believe Jesus pursued me through my cancer. He pursued me because I was doubting him. He was showing me that he was, he was there with me. I think when we surrendered, that's when Jesus take over.